think a few of them behind me are alright, but there are no, a couple of them aren't exactly the best. Race time. Well, oh, this is fun. P9. P9. And I can't exactly blame the car. I can't blame the car. <laughs> Better than P11. Yeah, I mean, it's been, what, how long has it been since you had actually been in a league race, Steve? Uh, part Fermi with off as well. Oh, we're doing 50% races, I didn't even realise that. Oh, flip. Uh, I, 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 it, it's it's been a while. Who is that? I'm ready. So basically, Jake, um, I've got to try and stay ahead of you then. Yes, yeah, you're one of them racers. We'll be going to track. <laughs> it's alright, I'll see you at the back. I can't even dodge you because you can't record him. I've taken a massive, massive risk. I can choose to upload though, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> All goes wrong in turn one. Yeah. Not my fault. I've Get out there now. I've taken a ridiculous <laughs> risk. Yeah, just be careful. <laughs> he sounds so scared. I genuinely am. Obviously, I watched you got crash into each other and just like fly past. That sounds like an idea. I tried that. Oh gosh, everyone else is on options. Right. Oh yeah. Brilliant. Just brilliant. Get spun in the first corner. Oh. Brilliant. Hey, let's get on a different note. <laughs> Down into 10. That's the earliest time. Oh, you're a deep thing. Why? Why? That, was a great that German's trying to take me off. Thank you. Alright. Good option, so I get it. Wait, who's in first? Russell. Oh, well, he's won the race. Congratulations, mate. Oh, sorry. Oh, Get out of my way, kid. Old man coming through. JJ, is that you coming through? I'm at night. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. 
Well, Jason, I'm P4. Nice. Yeah, just about to the corner within one second of the car ahead in the DRS zone. Thank you, Jason. I'm sorry not to be left there. Actually, you've just left it right where my arm is, and now I'm sorry, my back. It's not back anymore. It's still just. I'll tap the gravel. Oh, I'm just falling now. My mum has put the crystal crisps right next to where my arm is, and so now I can't move my arm. I'm really annoying. Can you not? Bob, oh, can you come get the crisps? <laughs> Great bad sir. Then your mic is Aww. freaking out. JJ, Jesus, I don't know what that is. What is going on there? That's Ben. That's fine. Yeah. Your mic. Sorry. So the question is, is how long can I keep this up? Fussel is massively too fast for me. I'm no, two seconds in too bad to be slower than him. Alien car, alien what's up, not too bad. However... JJ we do know behind is a rather fast racer. So the goal of this race was not to finish last. So depending upon how mm, risky, should we say, we are with the old racing front. See how that goes. Uh, the problem with these kids is they like to, oh, see like that, he likes to Mario Kart. I used to throw it left to right there. Hammer down through the gearbox. I'm just trying to be smooth with the throttle. Trying. There we go. Thanks. But this set of track here does annoy me massively. I think if I get a penalty this race, it's going to be across those two. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. I race got a oh speed by God. What is that, back? What kind of pace is that? Disgusting. Well, five laps into my SDG return, at the request of Mr. Biscuit, good old Jason, P4, very, very much faster racers than me, slightly happy at this. Car's not ideal, the back end's a bit too loose for me. I'll pay for that at the end of the race. But when well, these guys are good on the old one lappers, play to them as the race goes on, it's literally going to be how long can I stay up here? See. Well, if I can't go around, if I go around missing apexes like that, then uh, not long, I would say. So you should have me here now. DRS. Oh, gosh, the Oh. 
Now he's also on the prime, so we won't see him again. That should be JJ heading towards the front now. Uh, we can write P4 off, I'd say, this race. The only thing we can hope is he cooks his tyres. I mean, I mean, if you look, he's literally he's power sliding the car left and right. He's on the old. Uh, I can break just a little bit later than him as well. Problem is, is this is going to eat my tyres up? Oh, corner cut in there. Yeah, last time I'll have that. We have the first of the pitters, is this? No. Not from the lead. We still hold P5. Make sure we're on the old standard fuel there. So we're going to do a two-stop race. We'll be looking to pit in around laps 12 or 13 on the primes here. See how we go. And then two sets of options. Now the thing is, is I'm probably a lot happier on these primes than I will be on the options. So it's a calculated risk, but we'll see if it's worth it goal here is just to try and help Jason get some championship points. Uh, SDG Biscuit, he's in the uh, other Toro Rosso there, doing a far more splendid, <laughs> if I can say that, job than me. Exactly the best English there. Oh, corrected the car and I didn't need to there. So the gap back to Makami. Five seconds. So we'll, I suppose if I'm going to race anywhere in this race, it's I think Mac is in the. I think he's in the other Williams possibly. I might have got that wrong when I was looking behind when JJ was coming through. But as I'm looking for competition at the moment, you know, and the person that I've probably like to start try and stay ahead of. <sighs> Jason the chap's a lovely bloke. And he's a little bit faster than me, I'm not ashamed to say. Or was back in the day. So I think that's a we're looking at setting goals midway through the race. I think that's an acceptable goal to set. Good old JJ, nicely down the road now, and he? He's opened a three and a half second gap. Now, I watched a Limitless video before I did this race, and it clearly said two on the left, two on the right, and that would be enough. And that clearly got me corner cut. Not happy. Oh, now that's the guy that was along the grid with me. Uh, he was also on the primes to start with as well. And he was a little bit, shall we say, risky at the start of the race. So I'm not surprised to see that he's gone. Not meant disrespectfully, of course, at all. It's just, you know, when you, when you witness something... You make assumptions, and I think, unfortunately, in this case, probably my assumption possibly right.
Now I've got a hope that Jason Mack, that is. Not to be confused with Mr. Biscuit, who's also a Jason. Which I'm talking when I'm trying to take these off, because these are such a pain in the ass. I've got to hope his tyres are going off soon. So what's his pit strategy? He must be pitting soon. And in fact, the first of the... There we go. Jason, uh, I think, has pitted. So we become the lead Toro Rosso. Pit stall. I'm just about to rejoin now. And I've got to say, I think if um, Jason, SDG Biscuit, does get anywhere near me, I will be doing the dutiful teammate duty. I'm popping to one side. So if we look at the tyres, the tyres are actually alright. Are you actually? Maybe. You can I recommended try. a three stop. And you're going to be alright. Mr. Williams quickly is, is quite dark. Yeah. I'm really good on tyres. Well then, have a go. So I'm just hearing through the uh, commentary there, Jason saying he's very good on tyres. He usually is, in fact, he's well known for a one-stop strategy around Silverstone. And he's very good at that. However, the tyre wear... Silverstone compared to here. The tire wear around Silverstone as opposed to here is, is not as great. So I wouldn't mind betting Jason will be doing a two stop as well. And there we go. All right, so strategy puts us at, if only for a short while, P3. I'm not known for being very good with me old tyres. But I am sort of, wow, well, seven tenths drop there, that's not good, is it? Massive eight seconds now to JJ in front. It'll come to a point where I'm dropping more time than I'm making. So Jason's seven seconds behind us. Gotta watch these corner cuts, Stephen. So I'm doing hmm, 1 minute 28, so this is not good. I think the tyres probably what I'm trying to do. JJ, when are you coming in? I know, I'm just in sweat mode right now. These primes are feeling cool. It happened in 12 laps of them. Jason's taking two seconds out of us. No, I don't want to let him get too close. Does that will impede his race? I don't have anything to lose. Oh. Oh, it's Steven. I could get a second, but I wanted to, to win this race really bad. Cheers. There we go. I so said we wouldn't hold Jason up, but I think these tyres are. Oh, I feel shot, absolutely. There's no grip on them whatsoever at all. So, so much for doing the one extra lap.
Well, there's another name I know as well, Virus. So now, theoretically, I'm supposed to be the chaser now. So if we work our way back through, we thought that possibly P5 was acceptable for a race finish. First lap out, checking the grip. Seeing what we've got here. And it is, oh my god, I thought I had two wheels on the track there. And it is a Williams that uh, Jason Makami has got there. And we have someone else pitting here. Now, who's that? Is that Shockwave going the one? Yeah, so that's Shockwave. So he's awesome now, showing his hand as well. So he did go the one lap later. Which means through strategy at the moment, Mac and me, Jason, just up the road. Through the middle part of this session, I mean, I think we're catching Matt quite, quite quickly. Try and, close the gap to the car ahead. It's and that's why he's on the prime tyres. So this is the stint. We on identical strategy after this. I've now got, I've got to get past him. There is no ifs, buts, and maybes. So we've got the gap down to 1.6 seconds. Ah, oh, my good friend Alan. You gotta watch the fuel as well, because we were only optimal. Now, Shockwave was massively faster than us in qualifying. Theory is, is that he'll shake up to us, so... P5 probably a net P6. That's more than two moves there, Mac. And we're putting them under pressure. You see them lighting up the tyres there. Good drive out of the last bend. Whack the high fuel on. Wait for the DRS. There it is. Get a nice big toe off him. Done the pass. Now we've got to leave him for dead. We have to get past him. Through sheer virtue of the overspeed, we go purple in the first sector. Laps 
behind is on standard revs. Car behind is running standard revs. Right, one of them out. Third to fourth. If I was a bit now, I'd come out last. Come on, Williams, boys. Beagle, who's behind you? Very cool. How far behind? We're finally getting a bit of grip on a bit of luck on those last two corners. So that's better. It's the game being so this Stefan is in P4 by seven seconds. Who's in the K2 ahead of you? Okay, I thought it was Stefan there. No, Stefan's in the mouth with me. Mac, you got overtaken by uh, Steven. Watch out for the car behind. He's only two seconds down on you. He might try and overtake if you make a mistake. Okay, please. Gotta be a little bit careful these tyres. Oh. Oh, gave me the ice. Oh, I don't believe it. Don't know how. It's like you've got to leave that com the apex completely alone. And that was two wheels as well. The question is, is what is Shockwave going to do with Mac? I will actually stop touching that all together. So is this a bat marker we're coming up to? I assume it's a bat marker. I'm really on sweat mode now. JJ Gamer, fastest lap of the race. You're lapping around a second oh, faster than the car ahead. Keep this up. Right. How was that? Going wide. How did I gain three tenths when I went wide? And I had to lift off. Oh yeah, the eyes. We be playing ourselves in at this point, but I think this is sort of... Fair to deceive, I think, because... At this point, I think they might be on a slower tyre, and of course we're on the faster tyre catching them. It's not a bat marker as I thought. Tides are okay at this point. No, it's definitely two wheels over the line there. Are you really going to try and go all the way to the end, JJ? Might as well. What I'll do, a Sebastian. Let's all try it. Number to P4. 
through strategy. And Jason is the uh, next car down the road. It's going to be an interesting finish. Strategy has got us ahead of Matt, but we know he was faster from qualifying. We've not really pulled the gap I would have liked to have pulled on him. Yeah, so the tyres are starting to crush that threshold a little bit early for us, which is not good. Really need to do another two laps on these. So this is one of the back markers ahead, a caterum. Dirty air, not good. Losing a bit of time there. P10. DRS go, just what we wanted. Thank you, Loki. You won't get it because I haven't got my microphone on in this window. However, I do salute you, sir, for letting me through. It was a difficult piece of the track that you did it on. Again, strategy puts us ahead of Jason for the last bit of the race. at least for one lap and these tyres are sure so we do need to pit quite badly yeah fresh options so Fossil has only come in once though Decisions, decisions then. Do we go on a lap early? Well, we're not going to get lapped, are we? So I think what we need to do... Go now. That's a proof. It's Mac. My tires are shot. <laughs> Oh, I think it's a straight pit off between me and Mac. Oh, Stefan has taken. Has anyone P five? If he's coming. No more scheduled pit stops. So look after your tyres. A lot of you Oh, 
that was close. You have a two second gap to the car behind. We need to keep it clean so he doesn't get a chance to overtake. Yeah, I almost went in the level. Still optimum fuel, so we can't do anything about it. So we've got someone in the pits, but is it the back marker? Back to P5. And that was Shockwave doing his pit stop. I don't know if you ask him, I've, I've gained two seconds on him. Virus. Yeah, you put it in. Uh, Mac is just two seconds behind us. And that's I think is gonna be the grandstand finish then. So it's the race for P5 between Mac and me and Stephen J. Hayes 83. All the pit stops are done. I'm still throwing the damn thing off the road. And the thing is, is when JJ got past us, we know that Williams has got a hell of a lot of straight line speed, which whereas we're carrying a lot more wing. So we're still doing low 24s. The gap to Mac, 2.4 seconds. Yeah, it's about the same. You wouldn't hate him as much as Seastolf does. Lots of excessive chatter we don't really want. We've dropped a second there to Mac, and yes, look, he has closed up by a second. My little misdemeanor at the beginning. I don't know what happened, I just heard a lot of. If I was a betting man, I think that Williams will take P5. And a lot of dab. Especially if I keep running wide. Max had a good lap and I've had a really bad I needed him to have a bad lap to be fair. <laughs> Little bit of confidence there from I think Shockwave thinking that I'll be able to hold the position. We'll see. All in all, I dropped six tenths in the end, and yeah, I'm making a bit of gap over the, the last sector, so... The thinking here, possibly at this point, is maybe I'm getting a better exit out of the, that last sector. My favourite, or not as it must be, said, end of the sector. Ah, so this Stefan is on primes.
So this is going to bring Mac well into play, isn't it? We watch the fuel here. He's run wide. And this has played Mac nicely in now. Five laps to go, and I think we'll see how this plays out. But that nice exit I wanted to get, I'm now losing massively because of dirty air. And now we have Mac with DRS, and we're about to lose. whacking the car in the middle of the circuit there asking him to pick a direction up the inside he'd be too tight I can go on the cut back JJ. Cause I just came in. Oh, you did? Yeah, cause I'm not. I'm not gonna win this. Race and here we go. Here's this Stefan now. He's run wide. So we're gonna try. No, really. I took the fastest lap. Fresh options. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna take out all my anger on this lap. You're in fourth place. Kick out the dirt in his face. P4, four laps. Max surely got to get this, Stefan. So now it's how long? And you got to actually, you got to say this, that Stefan. He put the car and ma made me make a choice. The problem is, is, I knew with the overspeed, in that instance, I could get by him. So I've just got to hope now that the two of them are going to have a problem and now Max passed. Optimal fuel. 18 seconds to Jason. 1.2 seconds to Jason. My race got wrecked in that one. I got spun by the person that I'd invited to race for. And suddenly, no grip. It's going to be a grandstand finish for the pair of us. I've got like 
if it's any consolation, I am catching the uh, your worst enemy by about two seconds at that. Behind is trying to save fuel. Right, here we go now, Mac. There are some times where I wish I still got lapped. It will be one lap less. Oh, I'm going to be so careful with that throttle now. The thing is, is I think Jason, Mac, for me, that is, um, uses a... uses a wheel, so he should have better turning. Whereas I'm on a pad. 22 seconds. 22 seconds. Okay. 21.9 ahead of virus. Good exit on that band. Not so good take of that one. Bit of gap into lap 32. Having to be ginger with a throttle now. That was an awful exit. I think the tyres are gone, so Jason should have me on this lap now. That's a pit stop, so if I'd stayed out, it would have been two seconds. But, just say, just what it meant to be. Well, I thought I would lose it to him. You can hear and see that the tyres are absolutely shot.
looking at that. the lap time because it must be pressing. And we just beat Stefan for P5. There were some risque manoeuvres at the start of that race. Sounds like it. <laughs> yeah, one of them was mine. I'm glad I stayed where I, I had was. To, I had to take to the grass several times to avoid. I have to go, so I'll see you later. Alright, see you next week, JJ. <laughs> yeah, no, sorry. Especially up at T. I was right next to you. I was just trying to hold the corner myself. I didn't know who, um, if we're talking about the, um, the first set of corners just before turn three. It was one third corner, yeah, that was me. Yeah, I didn't, I couldn't actually see who it was, but I knew there was a car there, and I knew that if I stay where it was, it would be side pod glitch, and there was no sense in doing a side pod glitch. Oh, no. So I, um, lucky. so I died for the grass. <laughs> we actually hit tire on tire, it was freaking close. Yeah, no, I, I, honestly, I can't, I can't run that first, because you saw my, I, I backed right off in the first couple of corners, didn't I? Just let yeah, off. well, the thing is, is everyone kind of went, either went too deep, or tried to cut early, and that left a nice, great big wedge right through the middle, and I just went, thank you very much, straight through the middle, and that's why I got um, yeah, quite, um, quite out the front. I, mean, I, I, I took the same line, and I went on the outside of you. And I'm pulling in as, as hard as right as I could go, and I thought, oh, isn't going to go next to <laughs> the right? And then suddenly, it just had that little bit more grip than I thought it had. Well, um, I was a bit annoyed with the tyres. Uh, someone left the setting off because I, I deliberately qualified on Prime. Deliberately qualified on Prime. Um, and you had the tyre choice at the beginning. Yeah. And I was like, right, well, that well, that was a waste of friggin' time then, wasn't it? I could have qualified right up the grid and whacked a uh, bolt with a set of primes on. <laughs> so um, to be ending, I think, the first lap uh, at P5 was kind of like, okay, a vindication. And then, um, but uh, it, the setup I had in the car was cooking the tyres. I couldn't do the last lap on every stint. Um, so Jason, on the... Um, on the strategy, the reason you caught me so quickly, I had no rear tyres. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I thought, well, I'm going to have to dive. I, c I cannot do another lap on these primes. The, the red raw, yeah. I'll try and pick it up with the middle option stint. Middle option stint came on. Um, and Mac was catching me too quickly. I thought, no, do you know what? If I'm going to struggle, I'll struggle on the last lap of the race. We'll both be on old tyres. And we patted at, patted at the same time. And yeah, he had far more grip. Um, and I, c I could see from when I was looking behind, he could be a lot more. Um, you know what we were talking about was like when you go from a wheel to a pad, and it, you can't differentiate. Sorry, you can't um, transpose it across. Well, on the th on the throttle trigger, I was trying so hard not to spin the wheels, and I was either too slow or too fast, and he was just catching and catching and catching. Um, so I thought, well, I'm going to have to pit. I pitted, and then I thought, well, I know it's going to be at the end, and then at the end, he, lo and behold, he'd get me. They'd give him his due. He couldn't get me down the straight, so I think he was running quite heavy wing. Um, and this is without me whacking into high fuel. So there's me thinking, JJ was obviously on 1-1 one, one, and Mario Karting for, for fun. Oh, yeah. um, half, of them, half of them were kicking the dirt up in your face sort of thing, yep. uh, which was annoying. <laughs> Um, so I thought, okay, when Matt gets to me, he's going to go straight past me, and he didn't. So I thought, okay, I'll let you make the choice. I sat straight middle of the track. Right, you go either you either go deep and, and up the inside, and I'll go around the outside of you, or you go down the outside, and I'll just gingerly drive you um, towards the line. And he didn't. And he didn't get anywhere near me. So I compromised my own line going through, time and time and time again. <laughs> But, you know, Painful. there you go. You, you've had a race with me this year, this season. Well, we've got, no, let's good. see, like 13 more races to go. Oh, piss off. <laughs> <laughs>